guys, what's up? It's Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to another Seduction Saturday with Sarah. For this week's video, I am going to be sharing some pretty embarrassing stories. If you're feeling bad about yourself today, I hope this video makes you feel better because honestly, reliving these stories makes me want to die. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, let's dive in. Oh, I'm about to dive in. It was freshman year. And um, I took choir because I like to sing. It's fun. I enjoy it. At the end of each quarter, we had a final, like most high schools. And for our final for choir, we had to come up with like a song and then sing it in front of the class. And um, me and my two friends were like, hey, let's do like a dance routine to like a song and perform it in front of the class. Before we performed our final in front of the class, we were gonna go to a retirement home and sing like a few Christmas songs. And my teacher was like, so who wants to like perform their final in front of the um, old people instead of in front of the class? So that the old people can be entertained too. And <laughs> Me and my friends were hella confident with our routines, so we were like, uh, we do, bitch. Our dance is really good. Like, they will really like it. Oh my god. We practice every day. Do you know what the song was? You know that one movie, The Cinderella Story? The one with Selena Gomez? And you know what that one Drew Seeley song where it's like, yeah, we did a dance routine to that because I guess that movie was poppin' during that time and we loved that song so we were like, yo, and we were like hella confident and we were like the cool girls and we were like, we're gonna make this sick dance routine. And it sucked, but we thought it was amazing, so... Oh my god, it was so bad, it was so bad. When we got our dance routine down, uh, we all went to the retirement home, and when we're done performing our Christmas songs, our teacher was like, okay, so we got a special performance from Sarah, Annika, and Natalie. They're gonna perform the song New Classic, and we were like, yeah. We had matching outfits, gold leggings, I kid you not, bitch. Hoop earrings, red lipstick, and black shirts, <laughs> and like curled hair, and we were like, we are ready, bitch. Like, let's go. And the old people, like, were like, okay, like, oh, all right. I'm in the middle, in the front, and they're behind me, so they're like my backup dancers. Oh my god. And then we perform this synchronized dance routine to this three minute and 45 second song. Three minutes and 45 seconds. That's a long time. And this dance routine is so bad. We're like, you're the new classic. Like, it is so embarrassing. And there was like a lot of cute boys in my choir class, and they were like looking at us like, what the fuck is this? We thought that everyone was gonna get so hyped and like so pumped up, but the, <laughs> the old people in the crowd were just like, They had no idea what was going on. They were so confused. Like, we just looked like a mess up there. Just like, <laughs> it was so embarrassing. No one was clapping. We were like, all right guys, clap with us. <laughs> we were doing clapping. My teacher played the music on her like little MP3 player. So the sound wasn't even that good and it wasn't even loud. You know in Mean Girls when they're doing their like Christmas thing on stage and then they're like MP3 player like, freaks out. That's what happened to us. Um, <laughs> our music just like stopped. It kept like freaking out, like the music. <laughs> and then my teacher was like freaking out trying to fix the boom box and we're still like dancing. It was so embarrassing. And then again, the old people are just like, who the fuck invited them? And after three minutes of my teacher trying to fix the boom box, we're like, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We're good, like, we're good. <laughs> and then our teacher was like, all right, we'll give them a hand. <laughs> and then all the old people were like, um, what the fuck? <laughs> 
All right, the second embarrassing story is when I was in eighth grade, I got my braces off and I was like super stoked, right? I was like, hell yeah, braces are done. And me and my friend wanted to go to Olive Garden and like celebrate. And so I had these plastic retainers on that I'd keep in my mouth and I could only take them out when I ate. So we went to Olive Garden. We're done with our Olive Garden, whatever. My mom picks us up and my mom was gonna take us to a movie. My mom was like crazy about my retainer. She's like, where's your retainer, bitch? Where's that retainer? Get that retainer, bitch. Because it was a lot of money, you know? We get in the car and my mom's like, okay, sir, where's your retainer? <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, like I left it in Olive Garden. So she's like, go in and get it, bitch. And I was like, okay. So I go in, McKenna comes with me and I go up to the, the hostess and I was like, hey, like I left my retainer on the table. Can I go back and get it? And she's like, yeah, sure. So I go back, it's not there. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? My mom is going to kill me. I don't know what I'm going to do. We go back to the car and we get in and I'm like, mom, like it's not in there. Like, I don't know what they did with it. I am not leaving this restaurant until you find your damn retainer. And I was like, mom, I, I don't know where it is. Like they took, they probably threw it away. Honey, I am not leaving until you find your retainer. And I was like on the verge of tears at this point. I'm like, shit. Okay, fine. So me and McKenna go back in the restaurant and we're like, hey, ugh, sorry. Uh, my mom's kind of freaking out. I kind of need that retainer. And this bitch is like, oh my God, I can't deal with this right now. So she goes back and gets the manager. The manager comes out. The manager was like, sorry, like it looks like they, they threw that away. Like it's probably in the trash can somewhere. Like we're really sorry, like, Oh, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to tell you. And I was like, fuck, okay, thanks. And then I go back to the car and I'm like, mom, like it's in the dumpster. Like they can't find it. I am not leaving this restaurant till you find your retainer. You go in there and you find that retainer. And I was like, freaking the fuck out at this point. I'm so stressed. My blood pressure is through the roof. I'm like, mom, they threw it away. I don't care if they threw it away. You're finding it. And I was like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to dig in the trash cans? And she's like, if that's what you have to do. I'm like, oh my God. So I go back in there and this bitch is literally so done with me. We go back in there and I'm like crying and I'm like, I am so sorry, but like, I can go dive, I can go in the dumpsters and like look around, like I just really need that retainer, like it was a lot of money, my mom's kind of stressing out about it. And the manager comes back out and he's like, okay, like we'll see what we can do, um, just have a seat. And we're like, okay, so we literally are sitting there for 45 minutes. The Olive Garden manager comes out with my retainers, like squeaky clean, like in this napkin. And he's like, we had um, eight employees out in the dumpsters, like searching for your retainer, but we finally found it and we like cleaned it off for you and like put some alcohol on it, like rubbed it down. And I was like, I am so sorry. Like that is ridiculous. You should have not had to go through that. Like I apologize. I like hugged him. I was like, thank you great service you guys are wonderful and then i go back in the car my mom's like expecting me to have this retainer she's like okay did you find it and i'm like yeah and she wasn't even like oh awesome she's like okay good and she like drives away and we missed our movie and it was kung fu panda 2 and that was my friend's favorite movie and she was so excited to see it another embarrassing story is that guy that i had a crush on for the longest time um, he was working at his store and I've never met him before. I've just heard about him and he's friends with my friend Ashlyn. So we went into a store on 4th of July and I'm carrying this glass water bottle, right? It's like this cool hip retro glass water bottle. I'm a cool bitch. This was my junior year going into senior year and we walk into his store to like say hi and like so I can like introduce myself and I was like really nervous because it was like he was like the coolest guy ever. Literally I see his face and he's like an angel like 
he's like so beautiful like I feel like light was like hitting him and like he, I, he was like the only person I saw in that room I got so nervous that I dropped my glass water bottle and it exploded everywhere in the whole store. Literally glass everywhere. There's little kids like screaming. There's parents screaming. I look like an idiot. I'm like, oh my God, I just did that. Okay, in front of the hottest person ever. And my friend Ashlyn was like, Sarah, what the fuck? Like, how do you drop that shit? And I was like, literally, I don't know. <laughs> I was just so nervous and then he being this hot ass bitch he grabbed this rag and he like threw it over his shoulder he's like I got this and I was like okay <laughs> sorry about that um great first impression but he was really nice he like cleaned that shit up really quick and it was like really hot I was like watching him clean that shit and I'm like I'm about to die baby girl hold your <laughs> uh yeah and he watched me drop that too. He literally watched me make eye contact with him and drop it. Like I was so nervous. I don't know what it was. It was so weird. Anyways, I hope this video made you feel a lot better about yourself because I am an awkward bitch um, and I literally suck. And yeah. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe for more videos I post every Saturday. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up because I'm such an awkward bitch and I'm so embarrassing. All of my social media links are in the description if you guys want to keep in contact. Stay rad. Stay rad. <laughs> you like that new outro, bitches? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, bye.